Hey there and welcome to this video. Like a few months ago I created that one little spirit friendship animation and I luckily didn't forget to record my whole process which never really happened before so I can finally show you how my animations come together. To be honest the process is quite chaotic. Most of the times I'm starting to sketch things and then when I'm already like four scenes in I get a nice idea for an addition in the beginning. So I draw that and then go back to the latest scene I started working on before that idea popped into my mind. And this whole circle just repeats itself throughout the entire process so don't be confused when you see me doing some retouching from time to time in this speed painting animation walkthrough video. When I started sketching out the first scene, I realized that I wasn't familiar with all the details of breast spirits yet, so I took a sketch of one as a reference to keep the spirits design consistent throughout the whole video. This animation is a lot sketchier and more loosely colored than most of my other ones, but I kind of grew to like the style a lot. It's different, but it was so much fun to do it and experiment with things, especially the watercolor brushes, which you'll see later on. But back to what I'm doing right now. Okay, so, as you can see, I'm slowly but surely sketching my way through the whole thing while retouching some scenes from time to time. When I started this animation, it was only supposed to be a character movement test for the grass spirit, with like one or two situational examples, but as soon as I started to come up with the first situation, I got the idea for the little story that this turned into. Then I tried to visualize what kind of scenes I want to use to tell the grass spirit's story. I found that visualizing the scenes and camera angles in my head works very well for me and also a lot faster than sketching each of my ideas out. Though if this would be for an animation I want to put a lot of time and effort in, I test out multiple angles for each scene just to get exactly the feeling and atmosphere I'm looking for. I didn't plan to turn this animation into something super detailed and top quality though, so I ended up taking little 5 minute breaks after every scene to get away from the project, drink something and to visualize the next scene in my head. This also helped me to stay concentrated thanks to the Pomodoro technique. And I hope I pronounced that right. The Pomodoro technique helps you to stay focused so you can get more done in less time which is super useful in animation but also in a lot of other like things you can do in parts of life. And to achieve that you only have to work for 25 minutes and then take a 5 minute break. That work and break time together are what you refer to as one Pomodoro. Repeat that for as many Pomodoros as you need to finish your task and you're good. Though it's also advised to take a longer, like 30 minute break after 4 rounds of the Pomodoro technique because you don't want to overwork yourself. A little fun fact, Pomodoro is Italian for tomato because, and I quote from the website that I got all this info from, thinking in tomatoes rather than hours is just more fun. And I mean yeah, they're kinda right about that. Also, another cool thing about the Pomodoro technique is that you can change up the time intervals of like break and work time. So if you can stay concentrated longer than for 25 minutes, you could also work for like 50 minutes and then take a longer break accordingly. There are a lot of different like ratios that you can use and they're all on this one website, which I'll hopefully put a link to in the description of the post. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Now back to the animation. Throughout the whole sketching process, I experimented a lot with how far I can push the grass spirit's movement. What parts of it can move, and which way do they move, and how does the spirit express emotions? The more scenes I drew the spirit in, the more comfortable I got with its design elements, which led to me becoming more and more experimental throughout animating this. Besides its little arms, I gave the grass spirit control over all the grass it's made of, and made it work a little bit like fur. So when the spirit gets sad, all its grass starts to lose its strength and hangs down like the fur of a wet dog, and the same goes for the little leaf on its head. Though with them I also took it a step further and gave the spirit the ability to curl them up when it's feeling down, or wiggle them around in excitement. Similarly to the way a dog wags its tail. Besides that, the spirit expresses emotions through its eyes. They can sparkle in awe at a beautiful food or squint together in agony. Though it is a bit harder to utilize eyes to show a character's emotions when the character doesn't have eyebrows, because eyebrows normally tell you a lot about a person's emotional state. So to make up for spirits not having them, I decided to make the whole body itself really expressive. Grass spirits, for example, can completely deflate, so they're kind of in a doormat kind of state, but they can also puff up like a bird or swirl and dance around. 
As you can probably tell by now, animals are a huge inspiration for me to figure out how made-up species could move. The blue forest spirits, for example, float through the air like jellyfish. They move that way because it's quite elegant, but can also be very playful, which reflects their character a bit. I also just knew them to somehow be able to reach high places for the animated short I'm working on, to be honest. And by the way, you can already watch an animatic for one of the scenes of the short here on my channel if you haven't already. I'll probably like link it somewhere in the video. Once I sketched out all scenes, I started with colouring everything. For that, I first made the base of my canvas a light green and then started changing the sketch's colours so they wouldn't stand out that much later on. Once that was done, I started to add some simple shading to the backgrounds with watercolour brushes that Frida the program I'm working in, recently added in one of their updates. Before this, I already tried out the brushes on a little test drawing and really grew to like some of their textures. I sadly didn't get to use them that much though, because I still have to figure out how to make them work in my usual illustrations. Because of that, getting to use them in this animation made the colouring all the more fun for me though. I just love experimenting with different brushes and even found that I can find art block a bit like that. You know, kind of tired from drawing or having no idea what to draw, try a brush you never used before and ta-da, there are tons of new possibilities for creating textures or mixing colors, depending on what brush you choose to experiment with. Thanks to this, I also discovered one of my all-time favorite brushes in Krita. It's called Red Circle and it's super amazing because it lets you both apply colors and smudge them without having to switch between brushes. But back to the coloring. I first drew in some details like single leaves, grass or defined plants and then completed the backgrounds with an abstract mix of warm greens to hint at more plants and grass growing everywhere. The watercolor brushes let a bit of the green base shine through the colors I applied which helped to make all the backgrounds look consistent. Once they were finished, I started blocking in the spirits with light colors so they'd contrast with the background. To save some time, I sometimes reused the silhouette of one frame for the next, by moving it across the canvas with the transform tool until it was in the right position under the character sketch again. This worked especially well with the forest spirit. I also used the same technique when it came to making the forest spirit glow consistently. For a really simple glow effect, you can switch your layer function to heat glow, then equip an airbrush with whatever color you favor, for the spirit it's blue, and draw a dot over whatever is supposed to glow, and then you're done. To make the grass spirit blend in a little more with the background, I decided to give it a bit of shading, mostly in the region of its arms, so they look more defined. Now the animation was basically finished, but just to see if I could make it a little bit more fancy and colorful, I played around with overlay layers. One clip to the background and one clip to the spirits. In the end, I decided to keep the overlay effect, but turned its opacity down a bit so it wouldn't be that in your face. I also lowered the opacity of the background after rewatching one version of the animation a couple of times, because at least for me it ended up looking too dark especially for the kind of happy or sunny atmosphere I was going for. Though we're watching this now, I don't know if I still feel that way, but yeah, it's already posted, so you get the Morpheus Tally version. Hope you don't mind. And yeah, that's the video. Thank you so so much for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know through a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe if you feel like it. The links to my Instagram, Kofi, Patreon and Twitter are in the description in case you want to support me on that too. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day and stay healthy. Bye!